Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me using my Tis the Season pan items. So I created this full coverage. Yes, you heard me right. Full coverage. You can't even see uh, my freckles. So yeah, you hardly ever see me in full coverage makeup. If you want to see how I got this look, keep watching. Okay guys, let's get into this. We need to hurry because we're doing a full full face using my new tis the season goodies so i take that out the primers what did i do with the primers they are laying right here so i'm going to use the no pore balloon prime essence everything you're seeing me use is in a new pan project and it is with a couple of other wonderful ladies i'll leave them linked down below and this is all stuff I've had and don't really use a whole lot. So it's in the project to use some of it up. And just kind of patting that on. And yes, I'm, my skin has gotten tan. I just, it has. All right, primers are in the drawer. Um, I want to use this e.l.f. up. I don't know if it's going to match me or not, but you guys know we will make it match. <laughs> and I'm just going to use my handy dandy, it's time to clean it, brush. And give me a paper towel. This needs to be cleaned off. A little squirty in. So I pumped some out. I'm giving this a moment to dry. And just going to dab. Just tuck all this away. Yes, all my foundations are too light. <laughs> so we're going to mix in a little bit of that medium. I might as well leave this out because it's the only thing I can really mix in to this to make everything work. Because <laughs> everything is too light. So this is going to be some full, full, full coverage. Shannon doesn't normally do. Give me a little bit more of that medium. Maybe I should just put this medium in there. Maybe. Okay. So I think that's matching my skin better than anything right now. If I don't do that, I get a little crease line in my chin right there. I get like a a crease line about. Okay, bring it down. Concealer. I didn't pick a concealer to try to use. I should have. I've got several up there that needs to be put in rotation. And I'm still using my e.l.f. camo concealer. So just a little in the corners and a little out here on the end. Guys, how's it going in your neck of the woods? It's going pretty good here. Lots of things are changing. I told you guys um, there were going to be some changes at work. My manager is leaving. So, my little Ellie is leaving the nest. She's flying off. <laughs> so, that is leaving a management position open which I, I probably have that's that's what I'm gonna say I probably have this is the L finishing powder in light medium yes light medium since I'm a little more colorful now and I'm just gonna pick that up with a big fluffy brush 
so we'll know a little bit more um, in a few days. We'll know kind of more about what's ha happening with the transition at work. We'll see. We'll see what's happening. So send me some positive energy that things go well and I keep my sanity. <laughs> Butter bronzer, we're gonna get straight into the butter bronzer. That is some full coverage. Shannon, I have not been this full coverage in a while. And picking up. Quite a bit of bronzer here. I'm just swirling it in. Go ahead and Go along that jawline a little bit and bring it down just to give a little glow. Now, we're gonna swap, swap motions here. We're gonna do eyes and I pulled both of my gingerbread palettes. My gingerbread, uh, gingerbread and my gingerbread extra spicy. And today I'm wearing this really pretty autumn kind of lacy shirt i'm so ready for autumn just get on into september which the way the year has flown september will be here tomorrow i mean that's just how it feels this year has flown by this is just a pretty vulgar eye primer okay and i actually have a tissue today <laughs> i came prepared but I do want to put on a little bit of lip balm while we're chit-chatting. And this is the Hemp Crate. Love it. Going to grab my banana powder here. I need a big fluffy brush. And I'm concentrating on the bananas since the bananas are not, like, really moving. So I am just kind of rubbing on the banana. <laughs> okay. We didn't go there. Don't go there, Shannon. And just pat, pat, pat. Just so my other shadows. Some people want their shadows to stick. I want mine to glide. Because with the hoodiness and the crepiness if they just stick I can't get them to blend so this will help blend so it's all in your preference whether you want to set your primer or not it's all on your preference so I have this beautiful I think I will go with this beautiful one this is the extra spice it's got the little guy and the little girl on it the extra spicy so I'm gonna come into vanilla wafer which I could have totally used. And I'm going to go ahead and pat vanilla wafer up at the brow bone. Pat, 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 pat. And then I'm going to come into cinnamon. This one right here is kind of an orangey cinnamon. And give it a shake. I have not used these palettes since last Christmas. So it's almost like, you know, a rediscovery on how pigment they are, the colors. And they look really good. Okay. Cinnamon. I was about to go into butter. No, this is butterscotch. My bad. I'm looking at the wrong, the wrong name. It's butterscotch, Shannon. <laughs> butterscotch. It's butterscotch. Okay. I'm looking at the name underneath and it's the name above it. We might get it right eventually. And just fluff that edge. Okay. 
And that was that big fluffy brush from BH Cosmetics. This is, grab the right Morphe brush, my 433. And I'm going to come into, see some of these pans I've not even touched. I've not touched Half Baked. I have not touched Hot Tamale. I have not touched Candy Queen. I'm going to come into Gingerbread Glam. Tap a little off and Dab and then turn the brush. And I'm tugging a little bit more than usual here just to really tighten that skin up because I'm really going to go back and forth in that crease, which I don't normally do, but today we are. And then I'm going to start kind of fluffing it upwards. Making sure I kind of match, you know. <laughs> I'm going to go even smaller. This is a Luxie, just the little round brush. I'm going to go into Cookie Cow, which is this really deep chocolate brown. And just tap straight into it. Shakety shake. And I'm pulling this forward. And then just up like that, getting that V shape. And that's it. That's all you're doing. Just tap straight down in, pull it forward, and then push it up. And that's all you're doing. Very simple, very easy. If you want to come back with a clean brush, here's a clean Morphe brush, and you can kind of go over these edges and soften them up and blend them together. It'll just soften, kind of soften that together. Okay. A little bitty... Powder brush. I think these were those lavish, yes, lavish eye shading, boxy charm. I think it was, and oh, I've not used cookie cutter. I have not used drizzle, drizzle it. I'm thinking this drizzle it would be really pretty. So let's try drizzle it. And we're going to pat that all in the center. That is pretty. Leaving the corner open. Oh, that is pretty. And not really any fallout at all same brush i'm cleaning it off i'm going to go into uh, lick the spoon which is this one and of course we're going to put that right in the corner and brighten that up a little a bag fell down if you heard that it was a plastic bag fell down <laughs> Oh, pretty. Okay. Pencil brush. Gotta have a pencil brush of some sort, some kind. And um, I'm 
here's another one. So I grabbed two. I'm going to go into the cinnamon with the lavish one, the lavish pencil brush. It's got a little bit of a better point. And And then into the cookie call, which is that darkest color. Pretty. Very pretty. Okay. I'm going to grab another lavish brush. This one is the tapered blending. And I'm going to go into In a Pinch, which is this one right above the cinnamon and i don't this might be a mistake but just very lightly no that'll work <laughs> coming right out blending along the edge okay so we're done with that and I'm going to grab a liner. Is this my liner? No, that's a brow. <laughs> I need a liner. I want to, I have a, a felt tip one somewhere. All these are brow. Why, Shannon? Why? Okay, here we go. Yes. Black liquid felt tip eyeliner. This is the Illamasqua. Okay, I had a teeny tiny bit of fallout. Teeny tiny. Let that dry for a second. That one got a little ratty. Okay. I'll grab that banana powder just to do the uh, fallout. Okay. Very good. Blushes. I have two blushes. I have a Ciate and I have a Tarte. I want to try the Tarte on top of this deeper foundation because if it's not going to show up, I'm going to swap it for another one. And this is Ohana. I don't really see it. It just looks like more bronzer. Right? So I may switch this one out um, to something else. So I'm going to try the Ciate for right now, which is definitely a more pinky shade. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so... Pinky shade is on. Now I need a highlight brush. Come here, Jeffrey Lynn. So Jeffree Star highlight brush. I'm going to use the Prosecco pop that I pulled from Becca. And whoo, that child, that was a lot. Lord have mercy. That was enough highlight for four days. I think this was my eyeshadow brush not my highlight brush it doesn't matter it doesn't matter oh that's so pretty 
I don't want to blow that because that is a ton of product I can use on the next go around. Can you see all that? Yeah, right there. So we'll just leave it laying, sitting. And for lips, I put my other uh, Laura Lee in my purse, didn't I? I did. So this is the only one I've got out here other than the red, Jeffrey, and I'm not doing red with this look. I love her formula. I do. It's velvety. It is so velvety. And I don't think this dries down like completely dry, so it's not like sucking all the life out of your lips. But that is it. Let's comb out my brows and see if they need a little. I don't think they need anything really. My brows are always pretty good. I'm gonna go with the Back Rub Bang. This has become my favorite mascara. I still love the um, Too Faced better than Sex, but this one is is doing really good, guys. It's doing really good. I love that I can just get right into that corner with that little brush and I'm not poking my eye out. It grabs all the lashes. So good. Setting spray. I am going to go ahead and grab. I need to let that mascara dry though. Choo, choo, choo. I'm going to go ahead and put my palettes back in the basket and set them where they go. And that's pretty much it. The lip doesn't really match the eye. I mean, it matches really good to the color I put on the lid. But here, we'll just use the elf one because it's one that's in my Okay, so mascara didn't smear. There we go, guys. There is my first tis the season look. And I'm trying, I'm kind of trying the curly girl method on my hair. Um when I took a shower today and I conditioned my hair, I'm just getting some of that makeup off of my hair right there. I finger combed my hair before I got out of the shower and put it up in a towel and I didn't comb back through it with a comb. And I got these really pretty curls here in the front. Um, Cause my hair does have some natural curl, but it some days it's curlier than others. I don't, I don't know why, but some days it's curlier than others. But yeah, I just combed through real good with my fingers in the shower with the conditioner in it and combed it again while the water was running through it. And that was it. I didn't, I didn't brush my hair today, but I got these really pretty curls in the front from that. So I might try it again. Um, I'm all for it tomorrow. So I'm not going to wash my hair tomorrow, Monday. I might try it again Monday and see how it does. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.